Welcome back. It's time to talk weather once again with our chief meteorologist, Jeremy Legou. Mm -hmm. Kind of nice to see the sunshine out there today, but I it know. was a little deceiving. I know. It was cold. I know. It's one of those ones where the next couple of days there is going to be a little bit of sunshine, but it's not going to be warm. Didn't do much to warm anything, did it? No. <laughs> uh, a couple of spots on the road that I saw today actually saw a little bit of melting. That's just from one, how warm we've been recently in two that sun angle we talk about so often and what that means for us. Now, right now, we've got cold sticking around through Friday, blowing and drifting snow and back to normal by this weekend, even though it might be somewhat short lived. Now, when it comes to the cold, we have wind chill advisories in effect through 10 a.m. on Friday. That means it is likely going to feel like it is below zero through at least 10 a.m. on Friday. It's Wednesday. It's still Wednesday. Right now, we currently sit in the teens. Teens in eastern Washington and north Idaho. Low 20s in central Washington. You factor in that northerly wind blowing at about 20-ish miles per hour, east, north, east, northeasterly. And what we get is temperatures feeling like they're down near zero or in the single digits. And this is the warmest part of our entire day. By the time we get through tonight and into tomorrow morning, it feels like it's below zero across basically all of central and eastern Washington and all of North Idaho. Uh, you're in western Montana, forget about it. It's just downright cold. Now, those cold temperatures or feels like temperatures stick around through Friday morning. Look at Sandpoint Friday morning. Feels like it's 23 degrees below zero. Spokane feels like it's 12 degrees below zero. It is going to be very chilly. But by Friday afternoon, we get a little bit of a shift in the weather pattern. And then as winds calm, our temperatures feel like the actual highs that make their way in. And then things get rather interesting. So we're going to take us through basically Thursday. We get that strong wind sticking around as we move into Thursday morning. Friday, things start calming down. And as wind dies down, our temperatures feel like the actual air temperature. And then as we go from Friday into Saturday, ah, all right. As we go from Friday into Saturday, we get a southerly wind that brings about warmer temperatures. And that warm up takes us into next week. And you're going, wait, you said it was going to be colder than average. Get this. Average by next week, low 40s. So if we're in the upper 30s, sure, that feels quite warm, especially compared to now, but it's colder than normal. Hmm, but still warmer than we've got right now, so we'll take it. Oh, yeah. 